Hello, so welcome or welcome back. Yesterday, I actually straightened and washed my hair. I did my whole hair care routine, which if you're interested in that, please let me know and I'll do like a whole video about it. Sorry to interrupt, but I am dog sitting. So if you hear little snuffling or chewing noises, that's what it is, but I will talk more about that in a different video. But basically, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is straight, obviously, but it's straighter than it was in my previous video. Well, I may have had my hair tied up in the previous video. I had my hair like curled. So after it gets close to where I need a wash, I'll go ahead and curl it with my curling iron. But I really love my flat iron, actually. It's a steam flat iron. And basically I'll show you how I set up and use my flat iron because I really like it. And if you are looking for a flat iron or a steam flat iron, it may be the one you wanna go with because I just love it. And it really protects from humidity. Now, obviously if I'm in the middle of a hurricane in Florida, like the straight hair is not happening. I don't think it will happen for anyone really. It just helps against humidity. In Southern California, it does a pretty good job. And then depending on how I keep my hair at night, I can kind of twist it into a bun and then that will leave it in sort of a loop of itself. And then it will kind of wave out as time goes on until I straighten it again. So this is my flat iron, but this is the flat iron that I really like. It's just a professional steam styler. I don't think that's a brand really, but it's kind of gross because it's not new. I could use another one. I think this one's five years old. I mean, I have two, but the other one's gotten pretty old and gross. So like now I just use this one and it came in this box. So it says steam up to 450 degrees. It came with gloves for handling my hair, but I don't ever use it. I just put up with the fact that my hair is a little bit hot. This is a hair clip that did not come with it. It came with a little squeeze bottle as well, but I lost the squeeze bottle. Um, so yeah, obviously if yours comes with a squeeze bottle, try not to lose it. It really helps because the instructions say that you fill up the water tank with the little squeeze bottle, which I obviously can't do cause no squeeze bottle. Yeah, so I just plug it in really. So it's got like a whole lot going on. Mine has some like grossness because yeah, basically you're gonna wanna wipe it off after you use it with like a wet towel or something. That really helps keep it clean. No steam setting, a little bit of steam and then like a lot of steam. The first time I straighten my hair from washing it, sometimes I use the double, like twice as much steam because I don't know, I feel like it maybe helps protect a little bit more from the humidity. And uh, then like each time after that I use one because there's kind of no reason to use two. Sometimes it really slows down the process of getting it straight. Just ignore the gunkiness. If you clean yours better than mine, then it won't look like this, but um, it's like five years old now. So it's got hair grease and stuff in it. And I honestly could go over it and like wipe it off again. At this point, I should probably just get a new one. You know, it's getting kind of old. This is more than gunk. What it really is is like, calcium buildup. So if you have hard water, you will also experience this problem where it comes out of the steam holes on the other side. It's kind of white right there. That's because of the water. You don't need to use specialty water or anything. I don't think it necessarily extends the life, but you know, it's just something to know. It kind of builds up, which is another reason I say, go ahead and wipe it off with a wet towel while it's cooling off. It'll wipe off better when it's like slightly warm, but not so hot that it'll burn you. I just pop this off. This little trigger unlocks the water tank. And because I don't have my squeeze bottle, this came with one of my travel cases. So I just kind of push that down in there. And I have a bottle that I use actually for watering my plants. It's just used, I don't want to say used water. What is it? Just like tap water or whatever and you'll see it fill up. If it overflows, it's fine. It's literally just water, so it doesn't matter. Also, I wouldn't recommend putting anything in here other than water because that will actually affect the life of the steamer. You can see just the water kind of floating around in there. There's always gonna be a bubble of air. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to get rid of that. So I match up the two dots is what's easiest for me. There is an arrow on here, but it kind of blends in. So I just put the bottom the top part in and then the bottom part will snap and you can hear it snap this little thing is actually to lock the steam iron closed 
So see there it's open. You pull it down and then it doesn't open again. So obviously this is best for packing. Oh, right. Also I have a bag that's like a heat resistant bag so that when I pack, it goes in there. That way if I have to pack quickly, it doesn't like burn my bag or like melt anything. So then I turn it on. The first time I straighten my hair, I'll maybe do it at 430, like a higher temperature. And then every time after that, I pretty much just stick to 410. Um, it's the lowest setting on here is 300. That's obviously not hot enough <laughs> for me, but you know, depends on like your hair and stuff. I don't go up to 450, which is the top one. Yeah, like I just don't. So see, you can hear it starting and like kind of spitting water as it like goes. If it doesn't start doing that, then there's probably something wrong. I guess technically this is the stopper if I turned it like off, but it doesn't completely stop like the sound of the sizzling. When I go back to do my edges, like closer to my scalp, I turn this off. Otherwise the steam will burn my scalp. So it just kind of permeates all over the place. You can see a little bit of calcium from the water. It's very, you know, but I don't really want to use like, I'm not going to use like special water. <laughs> it's just a flat iron. So I don't know, maybe better water would help. But when I close this, then you really hear it and you see it start to like steam because for whatever reason, this flat iron knows when it's closed. I guess there's like a lever in here. So when it's on the hair, it sprays more. And when it's not on the hair, it knows that it's not supposed to be wasting steam. So if I section my hair off in four pieces, it usually takes me four of these. I have to fill it up four times in order to go through my whole head. If you wanted to see my process for how I do my hair, I do have a very, very old hair care routine video. So feel free to check that out. Also, this is basically a part one of my relaxation days because I realized it would definitely not fit in one video. So I do have more videos like this coming up. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.